Good evening, Church. Members and visitor, welcome to our Wednesday prayer meeting. To start our service, may I request everyone to please stand up as I call on Brother Dale Birai to lead us in a word of prayer. Okay, let us pray. Dear God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time, Lord. Thank you for many, many blessings. Thank you, Lord, na uh, binalik niyo po ulit kami dito sa church to praise and honor you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you keep us safe all night, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for the uh, singing and the praises that we're gonna do tonight for you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for the preaching of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remain standing as we open our hymn books to page 190. Page 190, we'll be singing the song, Look to the Lamb of God. Say amen if you're there. Amen. amen. On the first stanza, ready, sing. If you were seen, are you longing to be free? Look to the Lamb of God. He to redeem you died on Calvary. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For He alone is a Shadows are your path we fall. Look to the Lamb of God. Enjoy the sorrow, Christ is all in all. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For He as I call on Pastor Jeremiah Solomon. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's time you may be seated. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have some blessing you want to share to us, uh, you can share this blessing so that we can be blessed uh, with your testimony. Anybody? Kayo binilis ng Panginoon? Brother JR, our song leader. <laughs> Good evening, Church. So, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon for the safe ng ano po, uh, second church-wide saturation po natin last Sunday. So, praise God, marami pong uh, mga bata at hindi lang mga bata, pari mga, pati mga matatanda na uh, tumanggap kay Kristo bilang uh, ating Diyos at tagapagligtas. Yun lang po. Yeah, last Sunday we went out, we passed out gospel trucks, we did street preachings, and at the same time we had three outreaches. Ang init ng last Sunday, pero mas mainit yung pagsusolwi ng mga soul winners. Wow, pag uwi namin, may malamig na iced tea, may lola na na shop pa, oh, nag-promote pa, wala, wala pong bayad yun ha. Uh, wow, talagang tama, Brother JR. We glory, we give, give God the glory for that. At yun naman talaga, that the reason why we exist as a church, every ano niya, last Sunday of the, of the month, we will do that. Anymore? You want to share your blessings? 
I thank the Lord that uh, I was able to recover uh, last this last uh, last week. Uh, I was sick. Sabi ng doctor ko, I am stressed and tired. So I was able to rest for three days, and the Lord has just regained my strength and uh, and somehow I have regained my voice, and I am ready to preach the word again, the word of God again. So how about you? Any blessings from the Lord? Kayo jan? Meron ba kayo? Meron nagtataas? Sino, brother Aljade? Nanunuro ka, brother Aljade? Sino tinuturo mo? Ah, si Brother Anthony, si Missionary Anthony? Si ba? Tama ba ako? Ano no? O oh, yan, yeah, tama nga. Oh, Missionary Anthony, come on. Um, good evening, church. And uh, I would like to thank you for your prayers. Um, last month, my wife was able to give birth. And uh, it was normal. Uh, birth giving, so uh, thank you for your prayers and uh, always remember us and we, we do also thank God for uh, the life he has given to me, my wife, and the baby and the baby is strong uh, she's doing well uh, just, not, just that um, in the night uh, she'll be crying crying, so I think that is the um, the, the, how do we call it? Uh, that, that is the, the, the point of uh, me realize that and yeah, now I am in parenthood. So uh, you continue to pray for us uh, since I'm still on my deputation. Um, we are still uh, visiting churches on Sundays. So continue to pray for us uh, that God will be able to lead us to uh, churches and also to present our uh, mission uh, field that will be going uh, back to Ghana so that they will be able to partner with us and also pray for us. Thank you, Church. Okay, we continue to pray for you, Brad. Thank you very much. Who else? Yeah, Sister Rossi. Ah, na, na memorize yung mga pangalan ng taga Santa Mesa. Unti unti kung mina memorize lahat yan. Sige. Good evening, po. Um... Uh, ito po, blessing na po yung mahawakan ko tong microphone and magsalita po kasi hindi po talaga ako yung ano na yung nagsasalita talaga ng marami or sa mga sa mga tao sa harap ng tao. So uh, sobrang gusto ko pong i-share yung how God works po sa this past ano po ng past years, days na nang na blessing sa akin at sa pamilya ko po. Um, una, uh, last time po, Pastor, yung last po na guest speaker ka po, um, inas mo po si mother ko, nandun po kami sa pwesto namin, sa baba ko saan ka nakikita-kita po kami, inas mo po siya kung gano'n na kayo katagal sa church. Sabi mo po sa nanay ko, nandun po ako sa isang tabi. <laughs> Narinig ko po, sabi niya, till 1975 pa kami dito. So, Bigla po ako, yung time po na yon nahiya po talaga ako. Nahiya ako kasi parang sabi ko, ang tagal na pala talaga namin. So parang, ang dami, ang dami kong nasayang na panahon. Ang tagal ko nakapagmatigasan sa Diyos. So, ngayon, actually, nag, uh, alam ng yung mga nakakakilala sa akin, ha, kung, kung, Uh, yung mga sa family namin, si Ate Carol lang nakikita, di, nakikita nila dito eh. Yan, si Roche. Nung time na, uh, testimony na to, medyo mahaba po. <laughs> Nilalakasan ko lang loob ko. Ayun. Um, Nag-start po kasi yan, 2019, hindi ko po makakalimutan yung araw ng May, 4, May 15, 2019, 1 p.m. Hindi po ako pumupunta sa harap. Hindi po, kasi po ako po yung, uh, pupunta po ako kasi Adam, church, um, ano Ano po ito eh, family, buong, from the start po, nasa Sunday school na po ako, kami ng mga kapatid ko. So, nung time na po na yun, after po ng mga maraming, mga maraming trials, maraming struggle sa buhay ko. Kasi, um, single man po ako ng anim na, anim na makukulit ng mga bata. Ayan, sila Rose, si Ephraim, yung limang lalaki, isang, bab, isang babae. So, yun po. So, 
sobrang struggle po kami dahil nga medyo matigas po talaga yung ulo ko, kaya yung mga anak ko ganun din. <laughs> Ayun na nga po. So, nung time na po na yun, hindi ko rin po ma-imagine kung paano po ako napunta dyan sa harap. Walang katao-tao, kundi uh, um, janitor lang po, ni hindi niya po ako kilala. Nagtanong po ako sa guard, hindi rin po naman ako kilala ni guard. Hindi rin alam ni Ate Carol, not even si Ate Carol. Hindi niya alam na pumunta po ako dyan sa harap. Hindi ko alam ko ano po yung mga... Hindi ko po alam kung ano sasabihin ko, basta lutang po ako nung araw na yon Pero that was the, yung start po, yun po yung start na yun na makikita po na ninyo ako na nandun doon sa isang sulok, nagsisimba, even Wednesday, makikita nyo po na mag-isa po ako nag nag nakikipag-usap sa Diyos. Um, until yung mga, siguro napapansin na nila ako, yun. tapos um, may mga taong, nag, may mga, nagpapasalamat po ako sa mga taong nagpe-pray sa akin na nakikina, One time nga po, naalala ko, hindi ko rin po makakalimutan yung unang-unang nag-approach sa akin si Ate Perla, Ate Perla Bugtong. Kaya sobrang thankful po ako sa kanya kahit hindi niya alam. Kasi nung isang beses na nasa sulok ako, visitor po ata sila may isang event, nilapitan niya po ako. Siguro down, yung mga times na yun, parang kailangan-kailangan ko talaga ng prayer, so nilapitan niya ako. So nag-share ako sa kanya, hindi naman lahat, pero masarap yung feeling na nag pinag pinagdadasal niya yung sinabi niya sige pagpe-pray kita so sabi ko ngayon sa sarili ko ang daming ano ang daming ako lang pala yung may diferensya kasi umiiwas ako pilit ako umiiwas sa mga sa mga tao kasi ako from the start yung kinamulatan ko na nagkamalay ako nagkaisip ako na hindi tumitingin ako sa tao marami akong galit sa puso ko pero yung time na pumunta po ako diyan ang sarap ng pakiramdam ko, parang lahat ng galit ko, pero unti-unti po ah, unti-unti hindi, ang dami ko kasing i, na marami akong bagay na i-bit-bit na kailangan kong is, i, ano, i, ibigay sa Diyos. So unti-unti po yun. So ngayon sobrang, sobrang grateful po ako, sobrang thankful po talaga ako kasi uh, sobrang binless po niya ako. Actually, last year po, um, Binless niya ako ng sobrang, ito talagang amazing, amazing grace po talaga kasi hindi ko po, wala po akong kakayahan na mag, magtayo ng isang negosyo. Pero binigyan niya po ako na hindi ko po akalain na, na makaka, ma-establish ko po kasama yung mga anak ko na unti-unti ko rin pong uh, pinagdadasal na makonfig po sila unti-unti, uh, unti-unti rito sa church kasama ko. Kasi ako rin naman po yung nagdala sila pa, sa kanila palayo eh. So, Inadmit ko po yun na ako po yung may kasalanan. Hinihingi ko po sa Diyos ng tawad lahat yon. And ngayon po, I ask prayers po na spiritually, physically, yung lahat na po ng li, na yon naghihingi po ako ng prayer ninyo para sa family ko po. And ayun nga po yung blessing na tinayo ko na business. Tapos uh, kahapon po, nanganak po yon and si Brother Aljade, Sino, uh, actually, yung last year, si Brother Aljid, pinakiusapan ko rin po na, na magpag, uh, i-dedicate po yung business na yun. So, it, it grows po sa sobrang blessing po talaga. Tapos kahapon, nag-open po kami ng isang motor shop, repair shop po. Maliit lang po siya, pero alam ko po, God's blessing po yan. Dahil ramdam na ramdam ko po yung presence po niya. And yung... So, hapon po nag-open yun. And then, last Monday po, may na-open po kami sa Cavite na K-Egg Drop, yung uh, ano naman po, sa mga foods naman po. So, sobrang, sobrang galing po talaga ni Lord. Yun lang po. Thank you po sa lahat ng prayers Amen. po. Thank you. Na- nahiya pa yan si Sister Rosie, ah. Nahiya pa yan. How much more pag di pa nahiya yan? Okay. Well, ang sarap makinig ng mga testimonies. We... We praise the Lord for that. Now let's go to two by two prayer partner tayo. And then after that, we will be praying for the request ng ating church. Let's get our partner.
Lord, we continue to pray this evening. We pray for the following request. We pray for those people who have health matters. These are with cancer, patients with cancer. We pray for Ines Castellano, Hias Morales, Sister Sonia Bascierto, Sister Irene Marcelo for the complete healing from throat cancer, Jo Beleza, Roma Falguera, Gisela Salenga, wife of Mark Salenga. There is ongoing chemo for, for cancer, and we are praying for their recovery. We pray for Adelaida Navarro, mother of Sister Janet Medina's recurrence colect colorectal cancer. We pray for Angelica Sarayu, who has leukemia, Lorilyn Filma, healing from cancer, and your provision upon her. Mark Agliam for chemotherapy and financial provision, and Angelita Lizarte, healing from cancer. The following person also, they are experiencing or they need complete recovery from breast cancer. We pray the following people. Sister Janet Medidas, continue to, continue to pray for Ma'am Carol Luanco, Cory Esquillo, Susan Mapuyan, Ma'am Marites Biray Strength for her, uh, Jebeline Tantel Strength and Financial Provision, Rebecca Capellian, Salvation and Healing for her, Rowena Banyas, uh, this is the auntie of Brother Engelbert, we pray for the strength in her upcoming chemotherapy. Charisse Marquez, wife of missionary Marquez. We pray for the complete healing from her operation. I, we know that these are serious matters and they are experiencing pain, not only physical, but also psychological and spiritual. And we are praying strength for these following people. People with diabetes and kidney problem, we pray for Sister Nina Padagas, Promencio Capuras, Tony Ababau, Sister L.V. Giloreza, Brother Leon Cabico, Danilo Solomon, Dante Rodolfo, Sister Delia Yu, Mari Lubonga, Alicia Trevisonda. They are in going dialysis right now, and we know it's very painful, and we pray for their provision as well, financial provision. Following people who are suffering from stroke, Tony Chua, there's also an osteoporosis problem. Jose Tamunda, Gilmar Cabico, recovery for this from stroke. Sister Ramona Malapajo, Ricardo Marquez, Mrs. Mari Lufrias, uh, complete recovery from mild stroke. There is also a bone problem with Jocelyn Suministrado, cerebral policy for Enoch Ronces Valles. Brother Willie Garcia, he's suffering a back pain. Sister Joyce Mayuga, uh, yeah, her medication will work for her. Mom Sherry Lontok, chronic headache, cervical spondylosis, and we are praying for your touch upon her. Mom Lucy Lairon, Goodell for her, Bernardo Garriando. We pray for a full recovery from aneurysm. Mom Lydia Abordo, complete healing from sciatic nerve pain. Dennis Durete, physical strength, Rain Ariate Bartilet, safe and healthy pregnancy for her and financial provision as well. Cheryl D. Bernardo is an ABBC student who needs a complete recovery from lupus. Ning Ngai Xiang, mother of Sister Lun Pi Khan, we pray for the strength and complete healing from surgery, uh, pelvic surgery. And we know that you are our Jehovah Rapha, you are our great healer. And Lord, I pray that you would continually touch your people. The following pastors and missionaries, we need to pray for Pastor Ariel Castro in New Zealand, Missionary Velsa Shama in Myanmar, Missionary Felix Arma, and family in Ghana, Africa. Pastor Doc Apawan, property building in Abukay, Bataan, safety of our brethren in Myanmar. There is a civil war going on right now. We pray for Missionary Anthony for uh, his deputation before going to the foreign land. We pray for Pastor Irineo Bugtong for his next surgery, your good health, finance, and the wisdom for the doctors. We pray for Missionary Tran Dakmin and Hannah Tran for their strength as they go on serving you in Vietnam. 
We pray for the peace in Ukraine-Russia conflict. We pray for financial provision for church building of Alegria Fundamental Baptist Church. Board exam CPA on March 26 to 28 to 24 for Karen Ormado. A new pastor at EBBC Teresa, we are praying for that. Odell Blaha passed the battery exam at St. Luke's College of Nursing. Delia Marie Benitez Dentistry Examination Theoretical on June 8 to 10 and Practical Exam on June 15 to 22. Vanessa Braga Licensure Examination for Social Workers on September 18 to 20, 2024. The church has the following prayer request also. We pray for the officers and the staff that we are united uh, doing one goal for the Lord. The absentees of the church, I pray that you touch them, that they may realize that's very important to not to forsake our congregation, to remember our ties and faith promise so that the work, the ministry, and the mission work will go on. We pray for the follow-up visitors, home, peace, home Bible studies, and out of these ministries, more potential Christians will be joining us here in our church. Volunteers for church ministries, that they would continue their love for the ministry and save loved ones. More souls to be saved this year. And I know that you are using our good news outreaches and street preaching. We pray for the Royal Christian Academy for your provision and your protection upon our students. Asia Baptist Bible College for an increased enrollment this coming school year. More Bible students will be called in the ministry to be prepared. We pray for the children ministry, good news class. More children will be trained and equipped and you are going to raise godly generation in our church. Campus ministry, Saya Young People Ministry, discipleship of new believers, more young people to be involved in the ministry because the best time that a person can serve the Lord is when during the days of his youth. We pray for the DVBS on June 13 to 15 that the children that will be reached during this event uh, we know that the Word of God will be implanted in their hearts and it will not go in vain because the Word of God is alive and powerful to change the lives of these students. And we are praying also potential uh, follow-ups out of this ministry. We pray for the Children's Sunday on June 16. And we are also praying for the Mother's Day on this coming second Sunday of May that you would work on these dates so many people will be dedicating their lives unto you lord could we continue to pray for our church bbc santa mesa we are praying for a call of unity a call of dedication and we are truly your word is very powerful to change each and everyone's hearts don't let the enemy destroy uh, the ministry that early missionaries have started and tonight the word of god will be preached continue to bless and guide your servant let the word of god be exalted in the midst of us and those people who are listening to us through online continue to also to prepare their hearts as they listen to the word of god lord we know that you're going to answer all of these prayers because we ask all these things only in the name of our lord jesus christ amen and amen Brother JR, come on, let's have a welcome song. Shall we all stand up, please? And as we sing our welcome song, meron po ba tayong well, ano, mga first time visitor po? Meron po, meron po ba? If wala po, let us sing God's Wonderful People. As we go around and shake hands, let us sing this song. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. What a sight just to see all the happy faces. Praise God in heavenly places, love the thrill that I feel when 
remain standing, please, as, I, as we open our hymn books to page 92. Page 92, we'll be singing the song, Each Step I Take. On the first verse now, ready, sing. Each step I take, my Savior goes before me. And with His loving hand, He leads the way. And in each prayer, I whisper, I adore Thee. Oh, what joy to walk on Him each day, each step I take. be seated as we listen to the uh, Word of God. Thank you, Brother J.R. And right now, we are going to study the Word of God so that we will be uh, strengthening our faith. We are, you know, we can only get strength from the Word of God. And I believe that the Word of God is so powerful that can comfort our heart and at the same time, can change our lives. If you have your Bibles with you, I request you to please stand up and open your Bible to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 17. Gagamit ako ng bilingual. Meron kasi tayong foreigner, dalawa. Pero kung puro Pilipino lang, pwede naman magtagalog, pero... Ang maganda sa naman sa mga Pilipino, naiintindihan nyo naman yung English. Okay. Sila hindi pag nagtagalog ako, hindi nila ako naiintindihan. Anyways, uh, Exodus chapter 17. Let me just read verse 12. But Moses' hands were heavy and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon, and Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the, the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. May God bless the reading of his word. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word. Bless us the way you bless us this last Sunday. And we know that the word of God is so powerful that can penetrate our inner being and lord help thine servant as i preach your word forgive us from all our sins fill us with thine holy spirit in jesus name we pray amen you may be seated the pa the, the verse that we have just read it's the the story of moses and how the nation israel fought the amalekites but we are not going to study uh, that scenario. We are going to focus on one person there. I don't know if you are familiar or if you know 
this one Bible character mentioned in verse 12. There are three persons mentioned there. These are Moses, Aaron, and Hur. Before we start our prayer meeting, I asked our song leader, uh, who is wearing a, a Techno Marine watch, uh, napalanunan niya sa The Promise. No? Iba talaga. Basta faithful pinagpapala, ano? Oh, yeah. Sabi ko, sabi niya, tinanong niya kasi ako, kasi he's the song leader. Pastor, may I know what is your, what is the topic of your preaching tonight? Sabi ko, my preaching is about whore. Do you know whore? Ah, hindi ko po alam kung sino si whore. Si Ben whore, kilala po. Ang dati yun. Anybody, bang mamaya si JR lang ha, ang di nakakaalam. Anybody, you, you, you know whore? Kilala niyo si Hur? H U R Hur. Ah, uh, saan kilala mo si Hur? Hindi si hindi niya kinana si Hur. Uh, sa mga as na ina medyo Brother David, kilala mo si Hur? Kilala mo si Ben Hur ang kilala mo. Ah, si Hur, Hur kilala mo. Di ba hindi niyo kilala si Hur? Sino kilala niyo? Sikat. Paul, David, uh, Adam, pero si Hur seldom. Tonight, I'm going to preach about Hur. He is the unsung hero. And I'm, my, the title of our topic this evening is Hur's in Our Lives. Hur's in Our Lives. In order for us to identify who are the Hur's in our life, let us study first this person in the Bible. There was a war in, the, in, in, the, in Repidim. I'll just give you the, the background of it. There was a war in Repidim. Moses, what Moses did, he went to that top of the hill together with Aaron and Hur. And you know the story, whenever Moses uh, was raising his hand together with the rod of the Lord, alam yung rod na ginamit niya? Remember the rod? He used that in the waters of Red Sea. Di ba? Naalala nyo. And he used that in the waters of the rock. He smote the rock instead of speaking to the rock. And the same rod also, he brought this rod on the top of the hill. And he was raising this rod. Ang sabi ng Bible, when Moses held up his hand, what happened? The Israel prevailed in verse 11. And when Moses let down his hand, the Amalek prevailed. So pag nakataas yung kamay ni Moses, nananalo yung sa baba yung Israel. Kalaban nila, Amalekites, labanan sila. Pag bumababa yung kamay niya, natatalo naman ang Israel. And Moses did not until the setting down of the sun. But the problem is, Moses cannot hold on any longer. If you read the story, eto na. Pumasok si Aaron and Hur. And we are going to talk about Hur. Yes, Pastor Moses was raising his hand. Israel was prevailing. There was also Aaron, the high priest, and Joshua, the general of the Jewish army. But Hur, who is Hur? If you read your Bible in Exodus chapter 24, verse 14, he was one of the leader, elders in the Old Testament together with Aaron. Aaron, if you, you read that, Aaron let Israel committed adultery. Remember the story when Moses was receiving the Ten Commandments? Moses was absent. Kinuha ni Moses yung Ten Commandments. What happened to the nation Israel? Gumawa sila ng golden calf. Ganun talaga, no? Pag walang pastor, magulo. Kanya-kanyang gawa ng Diyos Diyosan. It's in the Bible. When Moses was getting the Ten Commandments, Allah, sabi ni Joshua, Pastor Moses, may war sa baba. Hindi sila war. Nagsasamba sila sa Diyos Diyosan. Okay? Si Aaron, he let the nation Israel committed idolatry. If you read Exodus chapter 24, verse 14, si Hur, hindi siya kasama doon. Okay? What can we learn about Hur? And later on, we can identify some Hurs in our lives. And they are very important in our lives. 
Unang una, I want you to know, the whores in our life, just like whore in the Bible, they add, number one, they add significant happenings in our lives. They add significant happenings in our lives. They add value in our ministry. They add value in our existence. What happened to Hur? If you read the whole story of Exodus chapter 17, when Hur noticed that Moses' hands were getting down, na nangangalay na, ikaw ba naman, itaas mo yung kamay mo maghapon, nakakangalay yun. You know what happened? Hur supported Moses. He supported Moses. They took a stone and put under him. Nilagyan nila ng stone yung kamay ni Moses para yung kamay niya mataas so that the nation Israel ay mag-prevail sa war. Hur supported Moses. He noticed, probably, Hur noticed whenever the hands of Moses were held up, kita niya, wow, the Jewish people were winning. Pero nung bumaba, sabi ni Hur, aba, natatalo ah. Hur, he noticed the position of Moses, Moses' hand. And he was so sensitive about it. Nakita niya kung paano bumababa yung kamay at bumatumataas yung kamay niya. And he supported Moses. And he stayed with Moses. He stayed up his hand. Hinawakan niya na yung hand niya. And he suffered with Moses until the going down of the sun. No matter how heavy Moses' hands were. I don't know kung ano yung amoy nung kilikili ni Moses. Maghapon. Hindi ko alam kung anong idea, but Hur stayed with Moses. Ups and down, ups and down. You know, there are people that stayed in the ministry. There are people that stayed with us during the ups and downs of our lives. And sometimes, hindi natin alam na sila yung Hur's ng buhay natin. And I know also, in this ministry, when Pastor Boyd was still alive, there are people... We know that Pastor Boyd's experienced a lot of ups and downs. But there were whores that stayed with him. May mga whore na nag-stay. Pastor, we are still here. Hindi kami umalis sa tabi mo. And they add significant happenings in our lives. When you read your Bible, when Paul was in prison, there was only one person stayed with him. And that's none other than Luke. That's why Paul said to Timothy in his letter in 2 Timothy chapter 4, he said to Timothy, only Luke is with me. Sometimes we are not aware there are people who would give us a tap on the back. Kaya mo yan. There are people who will spend a five-minute talk with us. There are people who are very sincere. Diba, may mga people na magsisincere, magpipm sa'yo. By the way, nung nagkasakit ko, for the record, ha, nagkasakit ako nung nakarang araw, etong si, si JR, pinihim ako, sabi niya, Pastor, pinagpepre kita palagi. Ang sarap ilibre nito, no? Pag ganyan, sinas... Ano ba bang gusto mong watch? Ro Rolex, hindi ko kayang bilhin yun. <laughs> And I mean... It's just a simple private message from an ordinary person, from a young person. Pero it means a lot. Pag sincere yun. A five-minute talk to somebody, a nugget of wisdom from somebody, a shoulder to lean on. These are words in our lives. Hindi natin alam. Misa natin take for granted natin. And they add significant happenings in our lives. Think about it. There are many, diba? I was just listening to Sister Rossi a while ago. Sabi niya ganun, he, she was thankful for Ma'am Perla, Bugtong, uh, sabi niya, hindi niya alam ngayon yun, hindi niya naririnig yun. No? Pero ngayon, narinig niya na ngayon, kung nakikinig siya. And she remembered those people when she needed most encouragement. Diba? Alam niyo, misan yung makipag-usap ka sa isang tao, alam mo, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. A five-minute chat, meaningful chat. 
And these are whores. Wala namang ginawa si Ur. Naglagay lang siya ng stone. Wala namang siya sinabi, Hey, Moses, you can do that. Moses, masahe. Mo no. He just held the hand of Moses. Parang very, parang, it's just a small gesture. But it's a big contribution. I was imagining if Hur was not there, walang nagtaas ng kamay ni Moses. Probably, Joshua would, did not make it. They lost that battle. But because there was a Hur, misa nga magbabackslide ka na eh. Nakausag ka pa ng isang whore. No, sabi ng Bible. Di ba? But God commanded His love toward us. Ah, oh, mahal pala ako ng Panginoon. Tapos, malalaman mo yan, magte-testimony ka. You know, when I was about to backslide. But there you have it, brother and so, brother, sister and so, talk to me about these things. And they added significant events in our lives. And these are whores in our lives. Not only that, do you want to learn more about whore? Number one, do you still remember my first point? Whores add significant happenings in our lives. Number two, whores ask not special highlights in their lives. They ask not special highlights in their lives. Whores in the Bible, just like Kur, they, they don't seek recognition. If you read the story, hey, if you're going to read Moses, Moses, he was a great leader, the pastor in the wilderness for 40 years, a prayer warrior, a worshiper, a mediator. And when you talk about Aaron, he was the, the high priest, a great supporter of Moses. Sino naman ang nakakakilala kay Joshua? He was a valiant man, a hero. A monument should be built for Joshua. But what about Hur? Hur. Everybody wants to be on the spotlight, but not with Hur. Ito yung maganda kay Hur. Meron siyang contribution. When the, after the, the, the battle, Hur did not say, Ah, Bro, alam mo ba bakit tayo nanalo sa battle? Tinaas ko ang kamay ni Pastor Moses. Ako ang reason bakit nagtagumpay si Pastor Moses. No. Si Hur, he doesn't mind recognition. Hur doesn't mind a plaque or certificate or a trophy. Hur, it doesn't matter. For Hur, it doesn't matter who gets the credit as long as God gets the glory. Alam nyo, maraming hur. Alam nyo, uh, hindi, hindi, hindi pa ako interim ng pastor ng Santa Mesa. I, 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 meron ako, may i-reveal ako isang secret sa inyo, pero nga, parisan ayaw ko i-reveal. Eh. Pero i-reveal ko na rin sa inyo. I, I am a very observant person. I really observe people. Hindi nyo lang, hindi nyo lang ako halata. I really observe people. Truly. Um, alam ko ang galaw ng gwardiya. I talk to guards. I talk to janitors. I talk to ordinary people. I talk, kahit mga nagtitinda ng, ng mga fishable, kikiam, I, I talk to them. Kilala ko ang mga gumagawa behind the scene. Some people, they, they want to work behind the big lights. Kasi alam nyo, when you stand up here, everybody wants to stand up. Everybody wants the big lights. Everybody wants to be a leader. Everybody wants to rule the world. Kanta yun, you know? Everybody wants to rule the world. Di ba? Lalo na pag, wow, 75 anniversary, dapat ako ang song leader. 75 church anniversary. Dapat ako yung usher doon. Kaya nung, to be honest with you, I feel awkward nung pinapakamay ako sa baba yung, Pastor, bumaba ka na. May mag-prepare-pray na dyan. Yung bababa ako, magkakamay ako sa baba. Ay, hindi ko siya. Hindi ko po siya. Kina, hindi ko po siya kultura. Kultura ni Pastor Boyd yun. Nahiya po ako. 
Sa totoo lang, kundi ako pastor, I, I am fine, sa likod lang ako. Sa likod lang ako ni Pastor Samson, I was the youth director ng kanoongan. Sometimes, I like to work behind big lights. Alam nyo, pag mga big event, ano mga tingnan kinakausap ko? Yung mga wala sa big lights, I talk to photographer, o kaya mo pa ba? Kasi yung photographer, pag anniversary, pagod yan. Ang mga pagod pag anniversary, yung mga nagluto ng pagkain, kaya mo pa ba? Yan ang mga kinakausap ko. Yung mga nag, nag, yung nag, yung nag usher, yung mga, lalo na itong DVBS, yung mga nag-drive, yung mga kumuha ng upuan, yung mga nagpupunas ng, ng pawis sa mga bata, lalo na ngayon mainit, kaya mo pa ba? You know, ang gusto kong mga whore, yung mga walang murmur, they just work on without being recognized. Remember, the Lord is keeping a record. Hindi natin makalangang magpakita sa tao para malaman na faithful tayo. Para kay whore, Moses, Moses' victory is also his victory. Aaron's victory is also his victory. Joshua's victory is also his victory. Israel's victory is also his victory. Pag nakita mong malakas si Pastor Boyd at kasama ka na nag-minister sa kanya, di ba you are happy when you see your pastor malakas siya? Kung ano yung victory ng pastor mo is also your victory. And we need more whores in this church that they are going to stand up, that they are going to serve the Lord even without being recognized. Don't get me wrong. Ibig sabihin, hindi na natin i-recognize ang mga tao. I am not saying that. Pwede naman mag-recognize ng tao. You give a plaque of appreciation. You recognize people. But what if, if people fail to recognize you? Ako, hindi na ako napapansin dito. Ako na lang. Eto, magtatagpo na kami. Hindi nyo kami napapansin dito. Kanino ba tayo naglilingkod? For whore? They, mga whores, they don't mind recognition. Though sometimes we need it, but they don't demand it. Encourage si etong si isno si 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 whore. They just want what? They ask not special highlights in their lives. They just go on. And I am very observant with, with regards to that. Mas kinaka usap ko minsan yung behind the lights, and we need more whores. Sabi nila. At the end of the day, paano mo malalaman ang isang tao masipag? Yung pagod. Kasi yung pagod, nagtrabaho siya. Pero yung buraot, yung natulog lang maghapon, ang lakas kumain nun. Pero yung pagod, wala siyang ganang kumain kasi napagod siya. Pero yung napagod lang sa kakatulog, tapos ang lakas ng kumain ng kaning lamig, bura o tawag nun eh. Walang ginawa yun, natulog. Pero yung pagod, walang ganang kumain. And these are the worst in our church. Yung napagod ka. Ano nangyari sa'yo? Napagod ka ako sa good news. Na-dehydrate yata ako. And these are the worst. And I love worst. I love working with worst. Pangatlo, nagtatapos na ako. The whores in our lives, they ascribe spiritual heritage to other lives. Not only they add significant happenings in our life, not only they, they ask not spe, special highlights in our lives, they ascribe spiritual heritage to others' lives. Open your Bible in Exodus chapter 31. Exodus chapter 31. Anong nangyari sa generation ni whore? Exodus chapter 31, beginning verse 1, hanggang verse 3, the Bible says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 
When the Lord commanded to build the temple, the Lord commanded Bezalel. Alam niyo, in building the temple, it needs wisdom. Kasi ang tindi ng mga furniture doon. At ang gumawa noon, kilala niyo ba? Ay yung apo ni Hur. Ang pangalan niya ay Bezalel. Asa, anak ni Uri and anak ni Hur. Ibig sabihin, he is the grandson of Hur. Bezalel, the son of Uri, became the builder of the temple. And by the way, Hur came from the tribe of Judah where Jesus Christ came. Probably, Probably, Hur told to his apo. Sabi niya, apo. Probably, Hur told to his apo the wonderful story of Jehovah. The deliverance of God and the salvation of God to his people. Probably, Hur told the meekness of Moses. Probably, Hur told to his apo the service of Aaron. He told to his apo the heroism of Joshua. And the Lord filled this person with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding. What am I saying here? Who's in our lives, the legacy goes on until the third generation. You know, when we are faithful unto the Lord and we pass good things to our generation, the Lord will bless them. Naniniwala ako si Bezalil, he stayed in the temple because he heard the story of his grandfather, Hur. The legacy goes on, even the next generation, even your next generation, God will honor our faith. God will bless your generation, will use your generation, and Bezalil built the tabernacle of God, and this was God's dwelling place, a place where people worship. Worship God, and it's a recognition of the faithfulness of Hur. And this evening, it is my prayer that this church would produce more Hurs. Yung Hur, alam nyo, nagpapadami ng member, yung mga Hur. Yung mga nagpapabawas ng member, kilala nyo? yung mga horror. Yung pag natikit ka, puro negative, ubus ang member. Huwag na tayong magsimba sa church na yan. Puro negative. Pero yung mga whore, stay. This is a great church. Yung mga whore, yan yung mga sipag mag-disciple and they add significant things in your life. Yan yung mga whore, kahit napapagod, hindi yan umaangal. Okay lang ako rito. I'm fine. Kapilang, kapilang, ano lang, uh, uh, black coffee lang from Ma'am Carol. Okay na ako rito. I'm fine. Di ba yung mga taong makapagkapilang? Trabaho ulit. It's okay. And we need horse like that. We need horse na i-bebless tayo. Yun na, siguro sabi ng Panginoon, wow, i-bebless ko itong horse na ito. Yung anak nito, i-bebless ko. Hanggang sa kaapo-apuhan, God remember the faithfulness of Hur. Diba sabi ng Bible, God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Alam nyo, pag faithful tayo, binabasa yan ng ating mga anak at ating mga apo. That's why itong, itong church na ito, marami na rin mga apo na mga hurs. Yung mga horrors, hindi ko na alam. When I pray, there are hurs in our lives at kailangan tayong mag-thank you dyan. Sister Rosie, sinabi mo si Ma'am Perla, hur yan ng buhay mo. Tayo rin, sana, maging hur sa ibang tao. Maging hur. Even though we are not being recognized, be faithful with the task, be faithful in the ministry. Anyway, the Lord is keeping the record and we are impacting the next generation in our time and in our church. Why don't we thank the Lord for the horse in our lives? Lord, we just thank you this evening. We thank you, Lord, for bringing horse in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that there are people 
small gestures, but a big contribution happen in our lives. Christians, my invitation is open. The invitation, I mean, the invitation is open. Why don't you thank the Lord for all the horse that He sent into your life? The reason why you stay in the ministry because of this horse in our life. Pwede rin, ikaw yung maging whore ng church na ito. And you can pray, Lord, make me a blessing to others. Make me like whore who is willing to work. He was there beside his pastor in his ups and downs. Whore did not leave Moses. In our ups and downs, there are people that they did not leave our side and they are whores in our lives. There are people, they don't need big lights. They just work on. Will you be that person? Will you be that person? And those people that are online listening, will you be that person? Father, we thank you for the word of God this evening. Thank you for the life of whore. And we are praying for more whores in our church. Whores that don't mind recognition. They just, whatever the victory, whoever gets the credit, it doesn't mind to them as long as God gets the glory. Father, we thank you. Continue to bless this church. We continue to pray for the spirit of unity, spirit of love and compassion. Yes, we can never move on once there are oppositions. We can never move on once there are miscommunications. And Lord, through the preaching of your word, gradually you are changing the hearts of men. And we continually pray for the victory. This coming Sunday, give us another victory. More souls to be won for the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to bless our giving, bless our departure from this church, dismiss us with thine blessings and bring us back again this coming Sunday for another worship. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's get our offering. Stand up, please, and turn your hymn books to page 250. 250 will be singing the song, We'll Work Till Jesus Comes. God's people say, Amen. Amen. You are now dismissed.